kitchens are one of my favourite spaces to renovate and especially this one because it's so different to anything we've done before. We'll show you how we designed this kitchen to be small in size but big in functionality. It's black, it's bold, it's perfect for a weekend party. So at the River Shack at the moment, there literally is no kitchen. So the cooking facilities consist of a microwave sitting on a cupboard, there's a fridge to store a bit of food in, and any cooking is done on the old barbecue out back. With the kitchen, we're thinking we want a black finish and also a textured finish, so a wood grain kind of cabinet front. Because the kitchen is so small, we would like to keep the above counter all clear. Additionally, we have to incorporate a laundry into the kitchen space. So a washing machine dryer in a cabinet concealed is what we're aiming for. So the kitchen. Where is it? Where's it going? It's behind you. It's ready. It looks a lot bigger on paper. The challenge with this kitchen reno is fitting all the appliances and the conveniences that you need in a kitchen in such a small space. Laundry. Washing machine dryer. Washing dryer in a cupboard, no one sees it. Fridge. Fridge integrated, no one sees it. And we now wrap around yes. into shallow yep. drawers. Doors, not drawers. Doors, doors. And then we have a big Bench piece of stone, over. like Lana's. So with the servery, we traditionally have put a gas strut window in that space. But Bon has got some ideas about putting some shutters there. The kitchen bench is about 500 that way. Yep. And one big slab of stone, about you know five. Like house? Same yeah, as Lana's yeah, yeah. house. Shutters here, somehow, yep. with a little latch, like you know, a little lock with no glass. Done. So we're part way through pulling this kitchen together. It's off with our designers, Carrera by Design, our building it as we speak. The wall linings have gone on, we've painted. We've never done a black kitchen before, so we are taking a bit of a risk and it really sets the scene for the rest of the space. So it's kitchen week, which is very exciting, and we've all turned up on site with the exact same uh, dirty hair bun, we like to call it. We need you to vote with the bun, who wore it better? Please. Look at this, look at this running. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, who's got the best bun? And Sam, just again, look. <laughs> All three of them. Ah! Oh, no. Look at, that's the inside. That's the inside of the, it's just. Who has that on the inside? We do. It's gonna be classic. Yeah, why didn't you do that at my house? No one suggested that at my house. So the kitchen is really taking shape here today. We have a one day install today, which is the fastest we've had before actually. We're on such a tight schedule. The boys are gonna get these in. So as you can see, we've got the internal carcasses. These are normally white, but we've chosen this beautiful wood grain finish to really complement the front door. You can see all the cords hanging out everywhere. So the guys have had to drill through. So that's for our power. So we've got a washing machine and dryer over here. So at the end of the today, the last thing the guys will do is measure up for the stone bench top. Once all the fronts are on, all the kickboards are on, everything. So we have the stone coming across here, the beautiful Caesar stone, and then we'll waterfall down the edge. So you can see the guys have left just enough space here for the stone to waterfall down to the ground. The kitchen has exceeded our expectations. It's turned out exactly how we envisaged it. It's the perfect little kitchen for a weekender. We chose to go with this amazing Caesar stone called Vanilla Noir. So this is a whole new look for a three birds renovation, as you can see, with the black, we've got the beautiful black cabinetry here. It's just so soft to touch. Um, we complemented with the stone here. We've got the gorgeous sky on axon on the walls. And you're probably wondering why we don't have a splash back here, but this is actually a water resistant product. So behind the cabinetry here, we actually have a dishwasher. In a weekend, you don't want to be washing up all the time. At the far end of our kitchen, we have our little laundry nook and we built in this little shelf here for all your storage needs. So here's a really great tip. If you're looking to save money on your kitchen renovation, give the project management a go yourself. This means you'll need to organise all the trades yourself. You'll have your cabinet maker, your plumber, your electrician, your tiler if you're doing a tiled splashback, your stonemason, ordering all the appliances yourself. But to be honest, it will save you a lot of money in the long run. 
got this brilliant Fisher & Paykel combination microwave and oven. So instead of having the two appliances, you know, your microwave sitting up on the bench or, or put somewhere, this little guy does both. So it looks very much like a microwave, but it has all the functionality of an oven, which is brilliant. And then just to top it off, to save on space, because we are short on space, uh, we have this gorgeous little 30 centimetre cooktop from Fisher & Paykel. We have an amazing piece of art on the splashback. And you know, this is the kind of thing you want to do when you're renovating your weekender. We love the servery that we put in here. We've got the indoor-outdoor seating and we've put in these beautiful Lexaflex Flex shutters. So, you know, you can close up for a bit of privacy or probably 90% of the time you can have them open. And as you can see, we've got these beautiful stools here. It's essentially another dining space um, or the perfect space to sit back and have a glass of champagne. So here's what I did to make the space work. So this is like lounge room, the whole thing is lounge room, and then it turns into bed. I find vinyl really soft. You've been nice. 